check one, two, got it. Yeah, record. We're just normal dudes, you know? We like to skate, we like to do BMX, we like to go to the beach, we like to party. We're just having fun. Highly Suspect is the people's band. Like in 2009, we had our first show, and it was originally just gonna be me with an acoustic guitar. And so I guess that was the definitive time that this really started, because I kind of like choked, and I was like, I want my boys to do this with me, you know? So it was in a little Irish bar called The Clouda, and I think there was like 13 people there or something like that. And you know, we did cover songs, and then eventually we wanted to move to Brooklyn because we wanted to take ourselves into more of an original path and, and you know, start only playing the songs that we wrote. And you can't really do that where we were from, you know? So we would just play covers and covers and covers and kind of got our, our wings that way. You know, one thing led to the other. We found one person, they introduced to another person, we started playing a lot of shows. You know, we just liked what we did, and we just wanted to keep going with it. And there was certain steps that we had to take in order to do that. So we signed with 300, we were at this point where we didn't know if we were ultimately going to sign with a record label or not, and certain companies were approaching us, I think, maybe in the, in the wrong way, because we just want to do what we want to do. And 300 is this, is this label that's out right now that's just completely like redefining the wheel in a sense, because they're not forcing anybody to be anything that they're not. And so we were just honored to finally find a partner that wanted to help us distribute what it is that we do. And I think we have really great label mates too. I mean, we've got Fetty Wap, we've got Young Thug, and, and, and this band Mainland who's, who's killing it right now. It's kind of like a family vibe. It's a very creative and fun atmosphere, so loving it. My most memorable moment from recently was Lollapalooza. So many people came out to see us and they were all like singing the lyrics. That was incredible. We had no idea how that was going to turn out. I mean, we were like, we're such a baby band and we were playing Lala Palooza. We played the first slot the first day and it was like a thousand people turned up. It was awesome. When we shoot music videos and we put out content, we like to think of ourselves as more than just musicians, but just artists fully through and through. And so we try to put out visuals that are going to make you feel a certain way. Instead of just being like the guys that get behind the brick wall, and play the thing, you know, it's been played out. So for this video, Pure Pictures, they sent us a treatment and the concept is just having a free diver, Marina, who's, who plays Lydia in that video, is a free diver and she stays underwater for like six and a half minutes. So we were like, let's do one interrupted shot, let's not be in it. And um, they sent us that and it just fit lyrically so well. Those are the lyrics, I can't fucking breathe. So what better way to show that than have somebody who literally has no opportunity to breathe. To me, it's like when you fall out of love, feels like you're drowning and there's no escape and so we left it at the end where you don't know if she gets out or not and that's kind of all up to you you know and some people are kind of like mad about that like oh no she dies or like oh you're hurting her or something that's not it at all it's just like when you're falling out of love it really literally feels like you can't breathe you know we're happy with that video Right now, we are about to go off on a headline tour across the United States. Uh, I'm really excited to do that. So we're gonna go start in Ohio at the beginning of October and then just lap the country. And then we're gonna head over to the UK and do a arena tour. Again. First time in UK, we're gonna be playing arenas. Mm